Hi everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Today I have a really special video for you guys. This journey started about two years ago with a customer of mine. It all started on Instagram with a private message to me saying, Andy, I'm interested in buying a truck. And here we are, two years later, a dream truck has just been built and I'd love to show it to you. All right, so it's not every day that I take five hours out of my weekend to put a video, just to shoot a video, not even edit it, but a truck this special, um, I have to. And you know what? It's not every day that I can say that um, I just built and sold my new favorite truck. And Jamie, this is absolutely my new favorite truck that I've sold. It is totally customized from the factory and aftermarket. And I'm gonna show everybody here on the channel what it's all about. 
Before I do, a big thank you to my son, Owen, who has been helping me on this whole video shoot. He's been holding the camera. He's been doing all this stuff with me. So thanks, Owen. I really appreciate it. And I love you, bud. All right, so let's uh, get to this truck tour. All right, so I'm hoping that, uh, first of all, the lighting is, is good enough because it's, uh, the sun is going down in uh, about four minutes. So I'm gonna do a quick outside tour on this truck and then we'll go inside and show you what is all about inside there. So first of all, you'll notice here, it is a purple, white, and silver, and that is right from the factory. So this is uh, called Indigo with the L0006 white. And then we got the, the silver in there as well. It just looks really sharp. Uh, this little reflection right there, that's just my camera light that I'm using because it's uh, kind of dark out. So we got the Texas bumper and this is getting changed out to the big Tex from Herd. Uh, it's getting installed on Tuesday, uh, a couple of days ago, actually. This is Andy from the past talking right now. So uh, this is gonna get installed and uh, I'm not gonna have a chance to video it because it's gonna be going down the road. And I wanted to come here and do this. Now, uh, another thing that needs to get finished is the signal on the fender right here. Uh, we were going with the circle theme on everything. Uh, they're on back order. Jamie's gonna install them himself uh, one, once he gets the truck on the road or in a, in a few weeks. But other than that, uh, everything else is done. So we got a 13.2 wide track front axle. Uh, we got the aluminum polished rims. They're not Durabrite, so you can repolish those. We have, it's the long hood here, and this is a 265 wheelbase on this truck. Now you'll notice it's all lit up. Uh, I had my friends at Shift Products do a huge install job for us and uh, supply a lot of parts. Uh, these ones here are from RLK Enterprises or RLK. I'm not sure, I didn't really get involved in that. Jamie ordered that. And then that one is from RLK as well. We got some watermelon lights. Shift Products put their lights up on the roof, the bullet lights, the watermelons, and that's an RLK visor on there as well. Uh, Shift is gonna be putting on their light right there. And uh, we got the polished DPF battery box here. Uh, actually, DPF is on the other side, rather. And then you'll, you'll notice lights underneath here. This is from Shift. This is all lit up. It was similar to what we did on that project truck. Uh, there it is all lit up for you guys. You can see how that looks. Getting back to what we got going on here. We have dual exhaust with no Kenworth cutouts, so it's nice and smooth all the way to the top. Uh, we had Shift change the stacks to the miter cut. 45s on the top there, just looks gorgeous. It got covered in a few bugs just because I'm driving it around here at night. And uh, we got the stainless bar underneath the sleeper as well with the underglow lighting and that is from Shift Products. Love it, looks gorgeous. We got the def tank with the chrome cover. We got the fuel tank right here, polished with the seven inch straps, polished again. Uh, this one here is a 110 gallon fuel tank on this side. And we have obviously the design wrapping all the way around the back. And this design is called Comanche. Comanche is what it's called. It's a 72 Aerodyne, Aerocab Aerodyne sleeper. So it's the stand up or the tall sleeper. Can't wait to show you what's inside. And we have a beautiful matching frame. I'm gonna try and show you what this looks like in the daylight so you can see how it looks uh, all purple. It just sparkles so much in the light. It's beautiful. We have a factory installed S-Bar heater right in there, the SPL drive line. So you got the rubber boot over your slip joint. As far as the rear ends, it's full four-way locking differentials, 391 gear ratio. And we have uh, the RT46 uh, 170P, that's the Meritor 46,000 pound rear axle. Now, how in tarnations is this lit up? Oh boy, we got more shift lights. Look at, we got lights underneath here. It's all glow, under glow lighting. Just absolutely stunning. Look how cool that looks. Oh man, in about uh, 20 minutes, I'm gonna get some really cool pictures. Maybe even some video, we'll see. <laughs> uh, we got the 24.5 XDS2 Michelin tires on the back end with the Kenworth AG460 suspension. So this is a heavy spec truck. 
Uh, we have very functional but beautiful heavy duty fenders on the back here. This is in the oil field industry is where this truck is gonna go. So it's gonna be the prettiest truck in the oil field in Canada here, I would have to say. And we got these heavy duty uh, fenders. Now these are totally customized again. So from, I believe it was Ace that we ordered them or maybe it was Magnum, I can't remember. But uh, we have the Ace Magnum, the smooth heavy duty top. And then over here, this chain hanger, this was actually not smooth. This was diamond plate. And I had this custom made uh, so that it matches and it's smooth on smooth as opposed to a diamond plate or checker plate with the smooth, which would look silly. And look at that, the paint even matches too. Oh boy, I wish we would have just done those purple as well. So we'll have to touch those up later. Uh, or Jamie, you'll have to touch those up later. <laughs> as far as, uh, yeah, that's what we did there. And then the bracket underneath here is also painted as well. So they were uh, like a galvanized steel, so it was really heavy duty um, looking, but now it's uh, all smooth and just beautiful like the rest of the frame here. As far as the fifth wheel, we got the FW35. It's a 36 inch slider, uh, single release right here. And uh, yeah, what else can I tell you about that? Not much. As far as the end of frame, uh, we didn't do any tailboard. We just left it all stock uh, right from the factory. So we got the LED lighting in the back. And then this is the heaviest duty rear end of frame cross member that we build. And then we have the spring loaded mud flap hangers right there. On this side here, it's pretty much the same thing, uh, but we got a 150 gallon fuel tank. Look at how beautiful that looks. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> this is, uh, that's a dam down there, the floodway. Kind of a cool location. Uh, as far as on this side here, uh, we have a lot skinnier strip under here be because the DPF box is a, a taller box than the uh, the battery box. So shift design these with the little strips and those lights uh, right in there. And it's nice, a really nice job here. Notice how all the factory huck bolts are there. There's nothing changed. It's all mounted underneath and it's all custom brackets to fit on a Kenworth. So very nicely done. There's my boy. Um, let's open up the hood and I'll show you what we got going on in there. Seven ribs across the grill here, of course. Don't want to forget that. I can open it. You know why? Because, uh, I'm getting fat. <laughs> yeah, I've gained some weight, about 15 pounds to be exact. We got the Cummins X15. It's a 565 1850. It's called the Productivity Series. It has all the same hardware as the Performance Series engine, just called Productivity. Cummins changed all that around here this year. Maybe I'll talk about that in a future video. Uh, we got the supports right there for the fenders. We have the remote lube terminal. We have the air up right here. We have drum brakes on it. Um, and what else can I tell you here? We got the Davco 382 fuel water separator. Take a look on the other side, show you a few things there. Hot side of the engine, there's a turbo. Just gotta love all that red, hey? Would have been cool to paint that engine purple, but there's a budget involved in these things, I think. <laughs> all right, so, uh, that's enough about the outside. All right, so here we are inside the truck right now. It is dark outside and uh, there's a bazillion mosquitoes out there. So we're just uh, gonna go over the interior and show you guys what we, what we have here. Now, I told you guys that this is my favorite truck. Now, obviously from outside, we did a lot of customizations. So that, the paint, the paint design, the colors, that were chosen, the wheelbase, and, and as far as the spec is what helped me design, or pick that as my favorite. But some other things too, uh, we had the Seattle package done, or actually Jamie had, he kind of picked to do this. So th as you can see, there is custom diamond stitching 
all over the interior. And I also surprised Jamie. Jamie, look at those on the floor. You didn't ask for those. I just want to give those to you as my gift. So those are custom made purple shift floor mats with the purple piping all throughout and they're basically covering everything. So I'll open the door here so you can see they go back pretty far. So very nice. Jamie, I hope you, I hope you enjoy those. So, um, but yeah, let's get back to the spec. All right, so we got uh, power windows, of course, power mirrors, uh, heated mirrors right there. All your interior lights are right there. Engine fan, ABS off-road switch. And then we got the two lights in the back, the one on the side of the sleeper and the one on the back of the sleeper. We have the standard gauges right there. Uh, there's your turn signal. We did the standard steering wheel. Maybe Jamie wants to change it out afterwards. I actually don't know. Uh, we never talked about that, but uh, that's there. We have the full gauge package all the way across. So all your full gauges, no navigation. And there is another CD player. It's trying to hang on for dear life. CDs are done. Cannot order them on any more trucks. Well, actually you can. You just can't get Sirius XM with uh, the CD player anymore. They don't have that designed together. Uh, as far as what we got down here, we have the PTO switch. We have air slide, air traction control, the air over inflate valve. <coughs> so that is to inflate your rear suspension uh, above the standard setting. That's not really for driving. It's just kind of for man small, close maneuvering. Uh, there is your hazards, engine brakes, your cruise control, air suspension dump, and then the full four-way locking differentials. We have the wood grain dash all the way around because it's the diamond VIT interior. So it's the fully loaded interior. And we did the Sears black ultra leather seats. So they're the nice wide base seats. And uh, yeah, so we got that there. Now there's two other little switches here uh, that we had shift put on. Those are for the auxil auxiliary lights outside. Uh, here's something when you're specking a truck, if you want to have factory switches instead of just uh, toggles like that, Basically, with a full dash like this, the only way you can do that is by putting your crews and your jakes on the steering wheel with the smart wheel, and then you get four more spots to uh, to put things. So that's uh, just a tip for future specking if somebody wants to do that. But Jamie wanted it uh, with all of these options there. We have the 18-speed Eaton Fuller uh, double overdrive transmission. And then we have part of the Seattle package. We got this leather boot over top here. We got the nice diamond pleated leather uh, cover right underneath there as well. Just looks beautiful. Diamond pleating on the, on the door. And the roof is all changed as well. Just looks so awesome. I just love it. So that's a little bit about the cab. Let's uh, take a look in the bunk. In the bunk here, we have the, the stand-up bunk. So this is a 72-inch stand-up bunk. So you got the Vista windows up above and we have the rear wall storage back here. And uh, obviously it has the diamond buttons all over. So these buttons were all changed out. So Travis, nicely done. Looks beautiful. Love it. Uh, we got the single bed here. This is a fixed lower bed. It's not liftable. And then I always like to put on this uh, added foam mattress underneath here. So this just helps to insulate underneath the bed a little bit more. So you're not going to have any, uh, you know, when it's cold outside or, or hot outside, the jockey boxes are not as insulated. Uh, so that just gives you a little bit better insulation. Uh, here we have your, your storage, all your closets. Oh, it's full of all my camera gear. Oh, look at that. That's where that table is. So I showed you that in the last video, kind of got stuck, but, uh, that's there. We got your fridge down below right there. And uh, we got storage up above here and then more storage there. And then on this side, the drawers are covered in the diamond stitching as well. And then there's another shelf right here. There's more of my camera gear and stuff. And uh, yeah, this is the storage on this side over here. This is where we have all the controls for the back. So your switch for your fridge, your sleeper lights, your panel light for right there. 
and then there's your adjustment for your temperature and then the s-bar heater so that is that is the interior All right, so there we have it. Uh, there is the video tour on this truck. I sure hope you enjoyed it. I know I sure had a lot of fun putting this together. Again, a big thank you to my son, Owen, for helping me with all the videography. So good job, bud. And uh, a huge thank you to Jamie. Uh, it's, it's been fun following you on Instagram and seeing all the fun that you have with your son. So uh, yeah, this is kind of neat that I get to do this with my son. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that. You can just click the link in the bottom there. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified about future videos. Uh, if you want to go and check out what we have for inventory, you can go up here. It takes you to my website. And on my website, I have a lot of resources for you. Uh, I have a training session in there. So if you wanted to learn about doing uh, regens or how to prevent wheel spin and, and your, your diff locks and all that, that's all in there for you. Uh, the other thing that you can do is if you want to get in touch with me or ask me to spec a truck for you, uh, there's a form on there that you can just fill out and I can uh, get some information to you that you're uh, that you're interested in finding out. So uh, yeah, that's it for me. We will see you on the next video. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.